everyone this is now once again from the overclocker magazine and welcome to the g scale trident z5 rgb ddr5 6800 DRAM kit review of course i'm not going to call it that the whole review that's just too long but anyway so let's talk about the basics of this kit as i said the timings here come in at cl34 45 45 108 it's nothing to write home about but it does give you a decent amount of performance as you can see when compared to a very tight timing ddr5 cl 28 34 34 kit right at 5600 so with that said i was actually able to get the same g skill kit the 6800 kit to operate reliably and consistently at ddr5 7600 8000 is still a meaningful milestone for a lot of people particularly if you're on a fortnum board and to my surprise as well this memory this very memory was also able to do ddr5 8000 did i bother to stabilize it no i didn't and the reason i didn't is because for that to be stable i needed a little bit more than 1.45 volts in fact to be honest with you i needed 1.5 volts and i'm not comfortable running this ddr5 memory at 1.5 volts and the reason or part of the reason is that the g skill dims don't have a thermal pad on the pmic right so if they don't have a thermal pad on the pmic it tends to get a bit hot and as a result of that you can run into some instabilities or some crashes right at the super high speed however this is not an issue if you're running at xmp or moderate overclocks like the one that i was doing in fact for as long as you can keep the voltage i think beneath 1.5 volts i think you should be good just make sure that you have some airflow on your memory because ddr5 is really 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 sensitive to temperature but anyway so I was able to do DDR5 7600 on this DRAM kit on a high-end board, the Extreme, and on a low-end board on the Aorus Elite. And that just proves to me just how capable the DRAM is. And I'm pretty sure that if I had a 2 dim board to try this on, I would be able to do 8000 reliably as a 24-7 setting. But me talking to you about what I'm able to do on a 2 dim board is not going to really be useful to you precisely because you can't buy two dim boards in SA. I know anybody else who's watching this from any other country may have access to those motherboards, but here in SA, we just simply don't have that. So it was very important to me to show you what you are able to do on four dim boards at the low end and at the high end. And I'm very happy to say that the G skill the Trident Z5 RGB memory was able to rise to the occasion. Usually I want to get 500 megahertz OC from my DRAM and when I say that I mean if like I have DR5 6000 kit like the one I had before from G-Skill it was important to me to be able to get it to 7000 same as if I had a 5600 kit I'd want to be able to do 6600 so this G-Skill kit is roughly about $332 if you have to import it which translates into about 5450 rand right the reason I'm talking about the import cost is because I checked out Wootware, which is my go-to retailer for anything G-Skill. They just don't have it in stock yet, and I'm not sure when they'll have it in stock because, let's face it, DDR5 6800 is more of enthusiast memory. Not everybody's going to be wanting to buy memory like that. 6000, yes, everybody's going to want that. But 6800, particularly given that it only applies to Intel right now, there are DRAM kits that are rated at 6400 that actually cost more than this from other vendors. So even if you have to import this kit, which we're willing to pay up to six grand, definitely get this kit rather. You will not regret it. And even if you have to use it on an AMD platform, it doesn't have Expo right on it, but it makes no difference. Most of these motherboards that we have for the AM5 platform, they also support XMP timings. So, or rather the profile. So it's not going to make a difference to you. So if you are in the position to buy DDR5 and you have the budget, import these if you need to. I'm telling you, this is a really, really good kit. And my kit is actually just average. Now, on something that's more realistic and achievable, you will notice that the difference in performance between DDR5 5600 CL2834, 34, right? I have that compared to the DDR5-6800, which is the XMP timings, and then we have the overclock at, I think the overclock was DDR5-7600, CL34-46-46-52. 46, 46, Not only was the memory stable, the performance was incredible, 
and you'll even see in the gaming benchmarks there is actual performance scaling i mean you look at guardians of the galaxy benchmark that i have wow i didn't expect that there would be such a massive difference in performance in just scaling dram and there actually was and by the way i'm testing on the rog strix geforce rtx 4080 that sort of gpu allowed me to actually see what kind of difference that the memory overclock can make and i must say it is massive yes it's 1080p and i doubt if anybody who has an rtx 4080 is playing 1080p but let's say you are you will see a huge huge difference in performance but given that we've all sort of figured out that the rtx 4080 is still cpu bound particularly if you are running a box standard 13900k like i was for these tests tuning dram is going to be the easiest way to improve that cpu i don't want to call it a bottleneck but that cpu scaling limitation right that that cpu situation the memory is simply capable of a lot more than what the motherboards i had at my disposal were capable of showing so when i think it will be the case for many of us unless if you have a too dim board most of us whether you're buying a strix e whether you're buying an Aorus Master, or whether you're buying whatever it is, if it's a 4 dim board, I can guarantee you that this memory will probably be able to do even better than what your motherboard is capable of showing. But what I can tell you is that for the price, again, 5,450 to your door, how are you going to do better than this G-Skill kit? No, seriously, how are you going to get do better than this? Yes, you can buy the lower end kits. In fact, the only other kit that is a relevant competitor to this one is yet another g-skill kit and that's the 6400 kit that you can get from woodware that one is also a die and if you have the same motherboards that i was talking about you should be able to reach the same frequencies so in terms of performance just to close this off so that i'm not waffling in terms of performance 7600 cl34 perfect perfect i really really like that performance but because I'm a person who's always wanting more. I'm going to see if I can stabilize 7800. It's just a little bit more, but I think it's just down to my timings. I should be able to get 7800 working. So the long and the short of everything that I'm telling you here is that go out and get this memory. It's just if you have the money and you don't want to bother with trying to find out if your 6400 kit can actually rise to the occasion, get this kit. 5450 bucks to your door and if woodware decides to bring it in it may even be cheaper than that so if yeah you get to calling ask them to bring it in for you guys and i guarantee you you will not be disappointed and with that said remember to share like subscribe leave your comments below in the comments section and i'll see you guys on the flip side take care and peace